Hey everybody, uh, welcome to part two of repairing a projection design 30SX with a bad color wheel. Have the new color wheel right here. It's mounted up onto the holder and the adapter. Uh, it slides right on these two posts. Just straight down and follow those straight down. Don't let it twist or turn. The glass is very thin, it'll snap very easily. For anybody that didn't see part one, this is why it's here. The old color wheel had a little too much uh, expansion and contraction of that aluminum hub and the glue broke. So, thanks to the magic of the internet, I have a replacement. After that slides on, we put the sensor board back on. It has the little infrared sensor down there that tells the wheel or tells the projector where the wheel is. You just set that on. And then the color wheel cover, the shroud, it just also kind of lines up. And it's just a T8. It's actually two T8s. Uh, let's see. Let's get the other one. There seems to be uh, three different size screws in this. There's these T8s with the there we go. T8s with the long thread, T8 with the short thread, and uh, I think those are probably three millimeter or two millimeter. And then these are M3, so M2 and M3 by T8, and then these long guys, these are T10 by yeah three or four millimeter. So once those are in, I'm just going to make sure they're snug. You don't need to crank these down. It'll crush the plastic, and that plastic will just crack. So just get them snug. Down all the way, and then just a little bit more. So next, we're going to put this back inside the base of the projector. I'm going to just set this here momentarily. I'm going to use that foam block under there because that lens is going to kick up part of the projector. So I want to make sure this goes in smoothly because what I'm going to do, I'm not taking this out. I don't need to. There's a safe amount of flex and it keeps me from having to remove the front as well. So you just only need to lift up a very tiny bit and then just tilt just kind of Slide that under. Watch that cable. And then drops down onto the three standoffs. And then those are the shorter T8s. And there's only three of them. And then once they're in, we get to start wrangling with the main board slash back panel. And that's fun to get to because of a black plastic rivet that latches the ballast to this piece. You'll see what I mean. I remember taking it apart was interesting. So that gets the optical assembly back in. And I can move the uh, foam that's under here. So the next step, which is a little difficult, is getting that connector back in and getting the ballast back into the right spot. I just remember this being a bit of a chore. There's a, let's see if you can see this, in the bottom corner, if I can get this to focus, that spot, that corner has to drop into there, so the ballast has to go that way. So let's see if I can get that just to slide in, drop down without losing the 
plastic because the plastic has to line up with it. There we go. That hole is the culprit. Well, is my gives me the hardest time with these. Next, we're going to put the main board on. I'm going to take the color wheel cable and just tuck it into there to keep it out of the way, as well as the sensor cable, the low voltage cable. I'll just push over there. Ballast cable, I'll just shove over here for the time being. I need to keep it all out of the way so I can get this in. Now, one thing I do with these is I get a small screwdriver. I'm going to set it under there when I put this in so I can get it to latch into that connector right there, that black connector that goes to the DLP. So I'm going to try and line it up. started on this side and then you get my screwdriver in there almost I'll show you so I just set the screwdriver under here get the connector to line up first and then that lets me apply even pressure. And we slide it out. That's it. And casually drop it on the bench. <laughs> All right. So then a couple other wires to move into position. Here we are. Let's get these guys. Make sure they're not caught in anything. Looks good. So we're going to start plugging wires back in soon, but first I'm going to put some screws in just to kind of keep that board in place. And that's these long guys. And that is also what holds that black plastic piece back down. So I'll put that one in first. This one in next to lock. It back down to the optical board or to the optic block rather. Oh, come back. And this one. And then this one. All right, that looks good. Those are in. Then we have a short one, which goes in, come on, which goes in the back here. There's a short one that, that goes down here. Let me just get that piece of shielding straight with it. I think that actually, oh no, that goes underneath. There we go. Box the grounds together. And then last for the internal structural assembly will be this plastic rivet. There we go. Now we can start plugging wires back in. I always like this part. Let's see, let's get that fan wire first. Blower fan. Oops. This way. They are keyed. Makes it nice. Ballast. Lamp is marked. Just kind of tuck that down there. And we have the color wheel motor and then the color wheel sensor. Now, this goes with the blue.